Manure is a critically valuable asset, so the focus on the farm here is to capture that and then to utilize it appropriately in a complete recycling program. We are actually lowering our carbon footprint and we're improving the environment in terms of air quality and water quality. It was 2017 that we put in a little pilot project just to try to get control and improve our green water challenges. We learned a lot in that process. Time and time again, the results of the, the cleanliness of the water after that beta system was incredible. That encouraged us to continue expansion. And just this year, we finished 320,000 square feet of worm beds to be able to handle three quarters of a million gallons a day, which is mostly water that's already been filtered 10 or 20 times. And what comes out of that process is two main ingredients. One is clean water. And clean water is critical for our, our irrigation and plant growth. The second thing that comes from the process is nutrients. All those nutrients that have been cleaned and have been stripped from the water by the worms are then in the worm casings and can be applied to the organic crops and even conventional crops as, as nutrients. And again, because it's natural, it's in the correct ratios. Carbon offsets are a short to medium term solution um, to help companies address their carbon emissions. When Royal Dairy installed the biofiltro system, they moved away from the industry standard practice of lagooning manure. And so this actually prevents the formation of methane in the first place. Moving away from lagooning could earn you six or seven carbon credits per cow per year. So Royal Dairy is avoiding 30,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide every year. It's equivalent to taking about 6,500 passenger cars off the road for a year or eliminating the carbon footprints of 625 households in a year. Based on demand for similar project types, that equates to $60,000 to $180,000 annually of incremental revenue. We're converting this massive green water storage lagoon almost immediately into an irrigation pond, which then keeps methane and a lot of greenhouse gases from being released. And so as a result, it's better for our cows, it's better for our neighbors, our community, and it's better for the environment as we don't have that same type of emission. And on top of that, we're creating CO2 equivalents every year based on, on that reduction in methane emissions. Mm -hmm.